Last week I shared with you an example of a Key Stage 2 classroom from Woodhill Primary School and what I want to do today is share with you a really great example of a Key Stage 1 classroom. This is also from Woodhill Primary School and the first thing I want to share with you is that this classroom is a prefab building and so one of the points I want to make is that a great learning space and a great learning environment can be created in any in any area and it doesn't matter what restrictions there are if there are key features then they can still shine through so first of all I want to just reference the point that I think this classroom has got some fantastic examples of literacy everywhere in fact Hannah's the literacy leader in our school and if you have a look at our reading corner our year two reading area you'll see lots of key vocabulary lots of questions lots of opportunities to um, scaffold and develop language and I'll reference some of these points with you a little bit later. So let's highlight some of the key features. First of all, as is the case in lots of our classrooms, our learning expectations are very clear and on display so that everybody knows exactly what the key features are that we're looking for in terms of learning walls, learning environment, teaching and learning expectations and also feedback. The second thing to highlight for you is that in the reading area we have lots of questions and scaffolds and prompts that are used for assessment but are also used by children and adults when we're structuring guided reading. So you can see some of the key reading questions, you can see in the reading corner lots of uh, support prompts, questions um, and guidance for children and they can refer to these during guided reading sessions. Um, we also have an author focus table and these change regularly depending on the text that we're using. And the last thing to say if I pan back you can see that this is a nice space to come and want to read books. It's a great example of a, of, of a warm inviting reading corner. Okay, so the next thing I want to reference with you is our learning wall, our literacy learning wall. The core text for Key Stage 1 this half term has been The Journey Home, which is a, a text all about polar bears. But what you can see from the learning wall very clearly is the journey of the learning. So I'm going to reference a few of these key features. So first of all, one of the writing outcomes was that children wrote um, an information text, a poster, a pamphlet. So you've got some of those features exemplified on the learning wall. They also wrote persuasive letters and you can see from the learning wall how the language and the features are developed, including the vocabulary, the modelling and some of our super sentences. What I really like about this as well is that we've also included on our learning wall some of the children's attempts so that the modelling is not just the adult modelling but the pupil modelling as well. And that's a really good thing to include because it says to children that, that their writing can also be used as best practice and exemplified and it also means that they're included in that learning journey. So I think that's a really good example of a literacy learning wall. I want to share with you next our topic interest table. So again, one of the things we do at Woodhill is that we want to see the learning environment really being used by children and referred to so that it, it brings a, a level of engagement, it brings that discussion, that language, that richness to what we do. So our children use this space, they have opportunities to come over here to select a book, to independently uh, play, and again, all of that stuff really reinforces the language and the vocabulary that then gets used in our teaching sequences. I think that's really nice. I'm going to come over here now because we also have a role play area over this side of the room. Again, a little reading den with lots of opportunities to explore, to play, to reflect and to learn about polar bears more vocabulary on display 
that vocabulary is used by the children. And if I sneak in something you might not easily see, but some fantastic artwork that links to the topic and some lovely literacy work as well. I'm not sure how easily you can see that. And here are some examples of the, the pamphlets that children made about saving the polar bears. So you can see how literacy is everywhere. Every space is used as a rich learning space. And I just know that these children have loved this topic and have gone home and talked to their parents about the topic. They've used that language in their writing. They're using that language in their discussion. And they've really been passionate about this. So come back over to here. So we're immersing children in this text because it also forms part of our art learning and also has provided some great science opportunities. So in terms of solids and gases and liquids and melting. And again, here's another great interactive display with loads of language connecting a core book to lots of other learning opportunities. Let's just have a look at some of the quality of the writing as well. This is year two writing. Just what you want to see. And you know that if this carries on, we're going to get lots of level threes from these children. Because the topic's great, the teaching's great, the learning environment provides the models of excellence that we're looking for. This is just what we want to see. Even where the coats are hung, they've made a little den here that links to the kind of the ice theme, the polar bear theme. So that the whole room is almost like a magical wonderland and the kids really want to be here. More vocabulary, more language on display. Really simple, but not not losing any opportunity to reinforce cursive handwriting, to reinforce our expectations. So let's move around. Let me show you a couple of other things. Here's our maths learning wall. Again, every classroom at Woodhill has a maths learning wall. The idea is that they model the strategies that we use to solve problems and the calculation strategies. They're aspirational in terms of we want them to be modelling the right things, so the things that are going to enable our children to reach really good level twos and level threes. And we've also got a maths table here. Again, prompts, questions and clear storage of resources. OK, so that's about it for this classroom. Hopefully you'll agree, it's a great learning space with loads of quality and lots of opportunities to develop language, literacy and also really connecting with that theme of excellence but also providing rich models for children to refer to and use.